Parker moves on. Losers sees their season come to an end. MLB Network brings you exclusive coverage of the winner-take-all wildcard game. It's the one-game National League wildcard playoff between the New York Mets and the Philadelphia Phillies. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you into another edition of Major League Baseball coverage on MLB Network. I'm joined by Dan Plezak. And, Dan, let's take a look at how these two ball clubs got to where they are. Well, I really love these one-game wildcard matchups to kick off the postseason. Kind of tough that your season comes down to one game after such a grinding season, but what's better than a winner-go-home game, especially when that's the case for both teams? Should be a lot of fun to watch. The old holdout purists may scoff, but I got to tell you, this is as exciting as it gets, folks. One game to decide who moves on. It's the wildcard playoff on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Zach Wheeler gets the nod here at home for the National League wildcard game. What's your take on him, Dan? Zach Wheeler's a quality cool. pitcher. Three the pitch mix pitch. guy. Fastball hmm. 93 to 96. Oh, Good hard slider and a straight changeup. If he brings all three of them with him to the. It's going to be a long night for the hitters. He's got it. There's one. Out. On to first, and they get them both. Oh, that double play gave him a really good chance to minimize the damage here. Now in the box, number 17. He'll take his first hack here. Number 17. And the pitch. No balls in one strike. Let's go, kid. Come on, one time right here. The wind up and the 0 1. Ah, his eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he... Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. Well, nothing earth-shattering about this one. He just didn't finish the play and watch it into his glove. And now they've got the leadoff runner board and no outs. And he won't have to contend with the throw as that misses for ball four. First and second now to start the inning. Batting nine. So striding in, Zach Wheeler, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Down, down, down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. So stepping in, Gene Segura, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Rosario takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. Two men on. Two out, and that'll bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. Struck him out, so they work out of the jam as he strands two men in scoring position. Ready for another chance? Number 17. And he always poses a threat, of course. One of the true superstars in the game today. He's ready. Here's the first offering. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Marisnik going back and off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. So it's a solo shot to dead center and it brings the Phillies back even now at one apiece. People always wonder why some players make so much money, and there's your answer. The great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason, and he did right there. New inning set to get underway, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Robinson Cano. It's back up the middle. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the six. And that'll bring up Wilson Ramos. It's been an 0-for-2 effort for him to this point. Ramos. 
put in play to the right side of the infield. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Trying to pick things up where we left off, number 17. And here's an at-bat you don't want to miss. A pop is something to see, so we'll have to be dealt with carefully here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 1-0. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. 2-1 to one our score. Hit hard toward the right side. And that's into the outfield two, for a one-out hit. Go. He's around first, heading for two. And he'll pull into second with one away. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Better fielder. Adam. Digging in, Adam Hazley comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. One run, five hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Gone. A two run shot that gives them the lead. A two-run blast to straightaway right field as the Phillies move out in front three to two. Normally, this matchup is the last thing you want to see left on left, but he kept his front shoulder square, stayed in that at bat, and absolutely demolished that baseball. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. Several good offensive performances in this one, but none better than the one turned in by the guy you see right there. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he came through with a multi-hit game, and more importantly, they were big hits. He was a key contributor to the outcome of this one. So for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, this is Matt Vaskersian. The postseason is in full swing, folks. You've been watching the National League wildcard game. Our final line score tonight, 
first for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Five runs, seven hits, no errors. They left six men on base. For the Mets, two runs, six hits, 